Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of It's News to Me. I'm your host, Lori Melbourne. This week, we will be highlighting important events happening right here in our community. While you might be totally enjoying the freezing temperatures right now, spring is right around the corner. The Downtown St. Charles Partnership is now accepting entries for the St. Patrick's Parade, which will step off at 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 9th. The deadline for parade entries will be Friday, February 8th. The Downtown St. Charles Partnership is also in need of volunteer help from the community and is accepting volunteer applications up to the date of the parade. Thousands of people of all ages are expected to line Main Street to watch cheerful leprechauns, award-winning local marching bands, elaborate and colorful floats, also honor American veterans and hear the beautiful melodies of the Celtic pipe bands during the annual parade. Local businesses, community groups, and nonprofits are encouraged to participate, sponsor, or volunteer. Check in with the Downtown St. Charles Partnership Office no later than Friday, February 8th. If you are affected by the partial federal government shutdown, there's help available for you. Batavia has many services to help fill in the gaps until your paycheck arrives. You may receive groceries once a month from the food pantry. This includes fresh fruit, vegetables, milk, eggs, meat, and more. Visit City of Batavia website for more information and ours. You may also call United Way's 211 number for information on other assistance in Kane County. Now, let's go to the park bench. Hello, I'm Kelly Hauge, Marketing and Communications Coordinator at the Batavia Park District, and welcome to the Park Bunch. I am bringing you Park District news today from the Eastside Community Center. You may have noticed some construction at the Eastside Community Center recently. We're excited to have a nice new parking lot for Park District participants and staff. The most noticeable addition, though, is the new playground equipment that's being installed. Next fall, our preschool students will get to play on the new structure, plus it'll be open to the community during designated times. We will keep you posted on an official opening date and times, but in the meantime, please pardon our dust. Did you know that the Eastside Community Center is home to the Batavia Senior Citizens Club? This exciting group of fun people meet on the third Wednesday of each month in Shannon Hall, which is connected to this building. Meetings of this active organization include general business, an entertaining and informative program, and a refreshment and social period. New members can join at any time for a $10 annual membership fee. The next meeting is Wednesday, February 20th. At 11.15 a.m., there is a free blood pressure check courtesy of Heritage Woods of Batavia, followed by a sweetheart party at noon. Wear something red and make it a sweet day with lasagna, salad, and cannoli for lunch. The cost is $7 for members registered before February 16th, $12 for members after the deadline, and $12 for non-members. For more information, see page 23 of the Winter Fun Guide or give us a call at 630-879-5235. We know it can be difficult to stay active in the winter, but exercise is an important part of staying healthy. For some indoor options, try a pickleball open gym. For just a $2 drop-in fee, he'll stay warm by having fun and being active. Pickleball is offered on Mondays here at the East Side from 6 to 9 p.m., Wednesdays at the East Side from 6.30 to 9 p.m., and Tuesdays and Thursdays at the Civic Center from 1 to 4 p.m. Community members are also welcome to use our gyms to enjoy the benefits of walking indoors. At the East Side, the gym is open Monday through Friday from 3 to 4 p.m., and the Civic Center gym is open Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 1 to 3 p.m., with the exception of holidays. If you didn't meet the deadline to sign up for winter fitness classes, just drop in. Try our fitness classes that best suits your interests, starting at just $6, perfect for your hectic schedule. Call ahead to confirm pricing and availability at 630-879-5235. Thanks for joining us for another Park Bench. We'll see you next time. Thank you, Kelly. Batavia Around the Block and Business Nuggets are brought to you in partnership with Batavia Neighbors Magazine. What's your best guess for Groundhog Day? Six more weeks of winter or early spring? Be the first to witness the prediction by joining the Forest Preserve District of Kane County on a search to find a groundhog at Leroy Oaks Forest Preserve on Saturday, February 2nd. The hike is from 10 to 11 a.m. at the Forest Preserve located at 37W 700 Dean Street, St. Charles.
The sleepy critter, also known as a woodchuck or a whistle pig, I've never heard of that one, <laughs> is among the few native hibernators in the area. Enjoy a hike in the woods to look for their tracks, talk about hibernation, and learn about their role in ecology. You might even see a groundhog looking at its shadow. All ages are welcome to this free nature program. Advanced registration is required at 630-444-3190 or visit programs at caneforest.com. Local company founders have built a business that the community can trust. Bill and Josette White, founders of Patriot Heating and Cooling Services, have dedicated their life's work to building a relationship-focused business that allows them to provide exceptional client service and products that they can stand behind with pride. In addition to upholding high standards within their business, they hold their community in high esteem, too. They actively support the Batavia Chamber of Commerce, Tri-City Health Partnership, and advocate for shopping local. Patriot organized and hosted a shop local fair with over 100 booths and over 700 attendees. Additionally, they are active members at Fox Valley Christian Church. Josette noted that lending a hand to help fellow neighbors succeed is a priority for us, according to Neighbors Magazine. As Bill and Josette attest, by living our business motto of providing exceptional client service and doing the right thing at the right time, every time, we have built a business that the community can trust. Now this sounds like the type of local business to do business with. You can find more information about Patriot Heating and Cooling by calling 331-229-0212 or visit Patriot H vacservices.net. Now let's check in with Patricia Leonard at the Batavia Public Library. Hello, I'm Patricia Leonard, Promotional Services Manager at the Batavia Public Library. Have you picked up your log for Winter Library Club? Winter Library Club is a reading club for teens and adults and both a reading and activity program for families. Logs are available now at both the reference and the youth services desks. When you return a completed log, you will earn a small reward and will be entered in a drawing for prizes at the end of Winter Library Club. The final day to turn in completed logs is Thursday, February 28th. The library's fourth annual Science and Art Fair will be held on Saturday, January 26th from 11 to 2. Families are invited to explore the various exhibits and participate in hands-on activities. Activities are suitable for children preschool age and older. The open house format features stations from Incredible Bats, SciTech Museum, NIU STEM Outreach, Dave Donasso's Reptiles, and more. On the day of the fair, sign up for a mini art lesson from Water Street Studios for students ages 7 to 14, and ukulele lessons from Hoot Nanny House for ages 6 to 14. For more information, please call the library's Youth Services Department, 630-879-1393, extension 500. The Science and Art Fair is sponsored by the Friends of the Batavia Public Library. Are you considering a trip this year to research family history? If so, then join us on Tuesday, January 29th at 7 p.m. when Thomas McEntee presents Family History Tripping, Planning a Successful Genealogy Trip via webinar. Par uh, participants will learn how to evaluate their travel habits and then build a travel plan to, an to ensure an enjoyable and productive genealogy-related trip. We'll also cover apps and websites you should know, as well as how to handle those pesky emergencies or changes in plans. Please register for this event by calling the reference desk at 630-879-1393, extension 200, or register online at bataviapubliclibrary.org. I'm Patricia Leonard, and I hope to see you at the library. Thank you, Patricia. The public is invited to enjoy treats while celebrating the launch of Back for Some More, the fourth book in the Kelly Clark Mystery Series created by Batavia resident Annie Hansen. The event is from 1 to 3 p.m. on February 2nd at Panera Bread, Wilson Street, Batavia. The new book will be available for purchase and can be signed by the author. 
Hansen will also have copies of the previous three books in the series, which is set in the Tri-Cities, available for sale. In a news release, Hansen stated that she plans to end the series with a fifth book in 2020. For more information about the release party or the Kelly Clark Mystery Series, visit kellyclarkmystery.com. In the mood for Chinese food tonight? I will share the list of the 10 best places in Kane County as voted on by the Kane County Chronicle readers in Best of the Fox Contest. Get your pens ready to take notes. Leading the pack is East China Inn, right here in Batavia, followed by Jen Ho, Geneva, Szechuan, St. Charles, Lynn's Garden, St. Charles, Silver Lake, St. Charles, China Walk, Geneva, China Garden, Campton Crossing, Wang's Garden, Aurora, Walk and Fire, St. Charles, and Chamber Red China Bistro, St. Charles. After hearing all these amazing places to eat, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be enjoying Chinese tonight. Batavia Public School District 101 would like to share some important information about the district's preschool program. Families with children who will be turning three and four years old by September 1, 2019, and who currently reside in the boundaries of Batavia Public School District 101 are eligible to participate in a lottery system for open spots at the BPS 101 Preschool at Early Childhood Center in the 2019-20 to 20 school year. The lottery-based system replaces the fee-based system, thus eliminating the monthly fee for community students. Families, however, are responsible for the district's standard registration fee. To register for the 2019-20 lottery, parents need to complete the letter of intent located on our website, bps101.net, and return it to the preschool at the Early Childhood Center by Friday, January 25th. Batavia Fine Arts Center hosts some amazing talent, and Friday, February 8th is no exception, according to Fox Valley Magazine. Music lovers will experience the sounds of award-winning hitmaker pianist and recording artist Jim Brickman as he brings one of the most entertaining and romantic concert events of the year with Share the Love Live. Brickman's engaging stage presence seamlessly blends emotion and humor with music that touches the heart. Brickman leads the audience in a personal escape with a stirring solo piano and vocal collaborations, including hits like Angel Eyes, Valentine, If You Believe, and Love of My Life. Jim Brickman, in concert, strikes the perfect balance of musical intimacy compelling storytelling, and a personal connection with every seat filled. Make sure to have an enjoyable evening at Batavia Arts Center, 1399 West Wilson. By now, most of you have heard of Pacha Kacha, the Japanese art of chit-chat. Pacha Kacha 20 by 20 is a simple presentation format where 20 images or slides are shown each for 20 seconds, a total of only 6 minutes 40 seconds per presenter. The format keeps presentations concise and fast-paced. The images advance automatically, and the presenter talks along to the images. This coming month's theme is Zeitgeist, Pacha Kacha Night, Batavia, Volume 14, The Spirit of an Era. Presenters include MC Sarah Garcia, St. Charles Kiwanis President John Gripe, and more. Also, food by the market at Gitanos, Batavia Popcorn Depot, and beverages by Island View Banquets at the Batavia VFW, where the event will be held at 645 South River Street, Route 25. Batavia is the place to be. The general admission is $5 for the February 21st event. More info is available at, and I'll spell it for you, P-E-C-H-A, K-U-C-H-A dot org, forward slash cities, forward slash Batavia. 
That's all we have for today, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of It's News to Me. Most of our programming is viewable online at mybatv.com or on YouTube under the username BATV1017. Be sure to like our Facebook page to stay up to date on the station's current happenings. Thanks again for watching. I'm Lori Milborn, and that's News to Me.